Hello folks, welcome to the demonstration video number 8 of my eShop web application. Today I am mainly focusing about the code inside of latest product listing section of our homepage. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, we are currently on our homepage. Then to the left side of this header section, you can see I am signed into my account. When I am signed out, our header section will be shown like this. Now we can sign in back to our account from here if we want to. Enough of that, now let's get into our main focus, latest product listings section. Alright, we can see our latest product listings section like this. There are several categories of products in it, like cell phones and accessories, computers and tablets, headphones and earbuds, video game consoles then finally digital cameras you can see images of listed products like this then here are the titles of the listings then here are the prices of the listings then this part shows whether the product is in stock or out of the stock then this part shows availability of individual items in stocks when there are more than one items available, those products will show like this. When only one item is left in the stock, this will say only one item is available. When there are zero items left, this will show currently unavailable. This is one of those buy now buttons. When a specific product is available, this will show in green. When a specific product is not available, this will show in red. Then this is the add to cart button. As you can see, these two buttons are getting disabled when the items are not available. When a product is new, this will show a light blue new label like this. When a product is used, this will show a red label as used like this. Then we can use this hard button to add specific product to our wish list. Okay, now we can get into the coding part of this video. So now I am going to VS Code. First, let's see our header part.php file because the only session management part of the home page is in it. To keep the header part.php file running in the state, it should be I am linking some other files in it. First, inside the head tags, I am linking bootstrap.css, then our own CSS file style.css. Then, inside the bottom of the body tags, I am linking our own script.js file. Okay, now let's get into the session management part. Inside of this PHP script, I am starting the session here. Then these session codes are checking out whether a user is signed in or not. When a user is signed in, this PHP script is getting the first name of that user from our database. Then as you can see, this part is calling a JavaScript function as signout function. I'm gonna talk about this signout function in depth in another video. When a user is not signed in, this is giving the option to user to sign in or register. Ok, now let's go to our home.php file. To keep our home.php file running in the state it should be, I am linking some other files inside it. First inside the head tags I am linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrap icons.css, then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of our body tags I am linking bootstrap bundle.js file, then our own script.js file. Inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file. I've talked about these things in the previous video, so now let's get into the codes of the product listings part straight. Okay, now you can see the codes of the product listings part here. This search query is searching the product table inside of our database for the product category IDs, then the product status IDs. It's showing the product only when the product status ID is 1. 1 means our product is still active. Then it's ordering the products based on the added date of them. As you can see, it's only getting the latest 5 listings. Then this search query is searching our databases for the product images. Then these codes are setting product images to the right places. Then this PHP script is getting the title of a product from our database. Then this PHP script is searching for the product condition IDs from our database. When the product condition ID is 1, this is showing a light blue label as new. 
when the product condition ID is 2, this is showing a red label as used. Then this PHP script is getting the price of the product. Then this PHP script is getting the available quantity of the products. When there are more than one items available, those products will show like this. When only one item is available, it will show like this. When zero items are available, it will show like this. In both of those situations, in stock will show in yellow. When items are out of stock, this will show out of stock in red. Then this PHP script is getting available items count. In both of those situations, available item count will show in green. In this situation, it will show as currently unavailable in red. In both of those situations, buy now button will show in green. And in both of those situations, add to cart button will show in black. When the items are not available, this will show the buy now button in red. But it will show the add to cart button in black as usual. We are adding disabled attribute to the buy now and add to cart buttons when the items are not available. Then finally, these are the codes of our add to wishlist button. We are using a heart icon that was provided by Bootstrap icons for this. So folks, that's all I have to demonstrate in today's video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.